else coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, a serial killer from Castillo's past wreaks havoc on the city of Miami in the episode Duty and Honor. On This Week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from January 26th to February 8th, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, it's a rather slow week of news. The NFL Pro Bowl ended with a surprisingly low score of 10 to 6. A new no smoking rule in U.S. federal buildings takes effect, and the 44th Golden Globes gives awards with Don Johnson being nominated for Best Actor, losing to Edward Woodward, and Miami Vice being nominated for Best Drama Series, losing to L.A. Law. In happy news from my childhood, on February 7th, the Hart Foundation, featuring Brett the Hitman Hart, defeated the British Bulldogs to win the WWF Tag Team Championship. I remember quite fondly this exact match, and Bret the Hitman Hart is still one of my favorite wrestlers. In music, Madonna finally makes it back to the top of the Hot 100. From the album True Blue, Open Your Heart reaches number one and performed well internationally. The song was originally written for other artists, but eventually made it to Madonna, who would rewrite and produce the song. Open Your Heart was well received by critics, although the music video got a much different response. In movies, finally moving Richard Pryor from the top of the box office is the anti-war epic Platoon. Written and directed by Oliver Stone, the film has an all-star cast including Tom Berenger, Willem Dafoe, Charlie Sheen, Forrest Whitaker, Kevin Dillon, and a very young Johnny Depp. Set in the Vietnam War, the film was a critical and commercial success, winning multiple Academy Awards including Best Picture and Best Director. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.